this is RJ Reed, number 10 for the Brooks Bandits, and this is Bar Down in B Town. Welcome back to uh, Bar Down in B Town. I'm here again with Anthony Pascrook. Anthony, who has the best flow on the team? Probably myself. You're giving yourself the best flow on the team. Yeah, I've been growing it for the whole year, so I came to camp prepared, and I think I have the best hair. <laughs> Who on this team has the best flow? Probably Anthony Piscaric. He's got uh, he's got some luscious locks. Guy does have some luscious locks. He's got great hair. Uh, Anthony Petrozelli, uh, who do you think on the team has the uh, best flow? Uh, well, first I thought Pascrick had it, but we just made a deal and then uh, got the new Chevy in. I think Eric has the best flow on the team now, by far. The key to the best flow, I'd say, is uh, maintenance. You know, you really got to take care of it. You got to shampoo and condition it, and uh, you really got to brush it. I'd say that's actually the most important part, is brushing it. Um, I think it's really the grease. To be honest, the grease, you got to get a nice tight slick going, extra long flow in the back. Make sure it's real good looking. Make sure it's flailing. Yep, exactly. Ah, you got to have some good curls. You got to have the natural curls going, and you just need to style it good and have a good slick with it. Slick. Your mustache looks great. Oh, thank you. I like yours too. It's quite nice. Thanks. Um, I'm Manicure. Who does not have good flow on this team? Uh, probably Madison Dunn. Okay, he's a hero. Hero. That is the best thing I've heard today. The best thing. Maybe don't put that in. Manicure doesn't work for mustache. Uh, do you think some guys just let it go? They don't even worry about shower and shampoo, you know? Uh, yeah, definitely Pazzy does because uh, yeah, living with him, I definitely know he doesn't shower. He's kind of a smelly guy and his hair is pretty greasy all the time. The guy does have some greasy hair. Yeah. That has been mentioned already, yes. Uh, during our win streak, who had the best swag and what would you define as swag? Like acting like, oh yeah, I'm a huge beauty, I'm a, I'm a star, you stud, you know? I think that was you. Being new to the team might be a little, might not know everyone all too well yet, but uh, what do you, from what you see, who do you think has the best swag? Well, I mean, all right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with you, but I'd have to go with our trainer, Neil Bresch. Uh, the guy just comes in and he just reeks of swag. Um, you look up swag in the dictionary, and, and there's a picture of him right there. I, I can't really define swag. Maybe just a. I'd probably say it'd be flashy, flashy, good-looking guy. <laughs> I don't know, just someone who's confident. <laughs> the, guy, the guy's nickname is Swag. Yeah, so the guy I mean, is Swag. So he does that. That does work out well for him. You can rely on him, and someone that will bury and just has uh, the attitude. I have a full brain dead when it comes to it. <laughs> the bread shred. I love it. I mean, whatever. I'll remember that. People don't forget. Thanks a lot for watching Bar Down in B Town. You can follow me at, on Twitter at, at RJReed10.